Nano Machine, by Han Jung Weolia. Chapter 26, Eye for an Eye, Part 1. Nikiam was taken out by instructor for further treatment. Yoan called out to the instructor since there was another wounded student, but the instructor was busy tending to Mukiam. Yoan then picked Jayun up and followed the instructor out. Where did he go? The instructor was already on his way to the main building. Yoan quickly used his running skill to catch up to him. The instructor, however, seemed to be expecting Yoan. Instructor. The 80th cadet is also hurt. I know. Huh? I knew someone would get him and follow me. The instructor just said that he purposely left Jayun back there. Yoan then asked. Did you make me come after you? Well, you are not stupid. It was a yes. What is the reason for that, sir? Reason? Nothing special. Your group especially made it seem like the entire test was already doomed. Something was weird about what the instructor was saying. Well, I just wanted to tell you that. Give him to me. The instructor hoisted Jayun over his shoulder and told Yoan to return. You know a cadet can't be outside the dorms at night, right? Understood, sir. Chun Yoan turned to go back, but the instructor spoke to him from behind. Well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Then the instructor went into the building with two cadets over his shoulders. Yoan then thought about what the instructor had said to him. As he entered the room, he realized something. What said, especially. So other groups had the same thing happen to them? He then realized what the instructor meant. Unlike Mukiam, Chun Yoan did not know what was happening nor did he understand the intent behind letting them know about the test three days prior. Attacking the group leader will makes be easy to deal with. If the other groups experienced the same attack, they would have all realized this. Chun Yoan then came to a conclusion about what happened. So this was why the four groups were destined to fight each other. Everything had been intentional from the beginning to condone covert attacks. No wonder it was weird that it was so simple. This was the academy of the demonic cult, not the academy of some justice-oriented clan. Pushing for noble teamwork was weird, and this was the reason behind it all. Chun Yoan then realized the truth. So, they want us to act like true cultists. Good. Then I don't need to be tied down to the rules. Yoan casually walked into the room. After hearing the instructor's words, members of the 8th group were all depressed. Yoan sighed, how long are you going to sulk for after losing our leader? W what are you talking about? One of the cadets that followed Mukiam shouted back. All the students then turned to Yoan. We should be busy choosing a new leader and thinking of a new strategy for tomorrow's test. We shouldn't just sit around and do nothing. Nobody could find the words to respond. Yoan was right. They felt stupid for thinking they had already lost after losing their leader. One of the students asked, then who will be our leader? They all knew about the formations, but only the leader had the experience of leading the entire group. In addition, the leader's responsibility for the 18 students other than Mukiam and Jayun was something that none of the students wanted to take. Hubong got up and proposed, why don't you think we have a leader? My master, Chen Yowan, is here to lead you. The students were flabbergasted. They thought they didn't have a leader at first, but they realized that maybe Yowan could take the place. Silence fell and one of the students raised his hand. I, 38th Cadet Li Chan, agree to the idea. And me too. It was the start. And soon, most of them agreed to elect Chun Yowan as the leader. The six cadets who followed Mukiam had to agree because of everyone else, and Chun Yowan asked the group to confirm their decision. Is everyone on the same page with me being the new leader? They answered yes and Chun Yowan shared what he thought when he was being trained. They then spent the night coming up with a new plan. At midnight, when everyone was asleep, someone left the 8th group's dorm and walked somewhere silently. He had covered his face with black clothes. Nano, night vision mode. Activating night vision on the user's sight. It was Chun Yowan. Why was he walking around when everyone else was asleep? Chun Yowan then stopped at the entrance of one room. It was the 7th group room. There was an opening to the door of the room, and Yoan looked over it. Is there someone that's not asleep here? Scanning the interior of the room. Yoan's eyes swept across the room and the light ran from left to right. All 20 entities inside the room are all asleep. Nano's voice confirmed that the people inside were sleeping. Yoan carefully opened the door and walked in. Finally, everyone's asleep. Yoan had been out throughout the night, checking on the students of other rooms to see if they were asleep. Nano, is the one who attacked Mikiam in this room? Yoan knew Nano memorized everything he saw. No match in this room. The seventh group did not have the attacker either. But Yoan did not leave the room. I see. 
Well, it doesn't matter. Yoan then began walking over to the bed and began pressing every student's blood point. And when he was done working on all the students except the last bed, he walked over to the group leader. And when he got near the bed, the leader's eyes flashed open. What? Unlike the other students, the leader slept lightly and he was strong, so he had woken up from the sound. UNNGH. However, his blood point was pressed on before he could react. Chun Yeowon was shocked, but he was able to quickly put him down. He sighed with relief and took out the long needle from his pocket. Well, I know you didn't do this, but I'm sorry. Yeowon then poked the needle in 7th group leader Ko King's thigh, foot, and a few muscle points. When he woke up, he wouldn't be able to walk for a few days. We're done here. Let's move on to the next. Chun Yeowon's target wasn't just one room. It wasn't for revenge, but he was going to find the attacker and get payback. He also was going to act on the second test's hidden goal, so Yeowon then moved to the fifth room. Unlike the seventh and eighth where entire group consisted of boys, the fifth group had two girl cadets, one of them was the leader, Chun Wonryu. Chun Yeowon then realized she was upstairs and gave up. Then, the culprit must be in the sixth group. If it was to hurt Mukiam, then it must have been one of the leaders. Yeowon then thought the leader of the sixth group might be the guilty party and walked to the sixth room. Nano scanned the room. A total of 16 students are all asleep. 16? Chun Yeowon frowned. The sixth group had a total of 20 students and three of them were girls. If there were only 16 inside, then it meant that one person was missing. Yeowon then walked in and checked on each student. He couldn't find the leader. What? Yeowon scanned everyone, but none of them matched the attacker. It was suspicious that the leader was missing. Yeowon then shook his head and looked at other students. Well, there are more ways to skin a cat, right? He then grinned and began pressing the blood points of all the students. And this was what happened until Chun Yeowon was up on stage for the lottery. Lee Heming was truly astonished. If Chun Yeowon was the leader, it meant that Chun Mukiam was injured by someone here. They understood my test then. I guess this year's academy is a success. Heming then asked the leaders, are you all done? All the leaders shouted, motto, good. I know you all have prepared fair and square for this test. Good luck. Fair and square? All the leaders seemed to feel uncomfortable. As the leaders stepped down and gave the paper they pulled out to the instructors, one student was glaring at the other leaders. It was leader of the 6th group, 108th Cadet Ha Ilming. Chun Yeowon then ordered Nano. Nano, scan him. Wherever Ha Ilming went, half of his group was limping with pale faces. Yeowon felt satisfied knowing that he had achieved his goal. Scan complete. Entity Ha Ilming matches the attacker profile. Chapter 27, Eye for an Eye, Part 2. Chun Yeowon smiled after finding the attacker. As for Ha Ilming, he didn't feel so good. He was the only individual leader who wasn't a prince of the six clans or a member of a high-ranking clan. When he heard the information about the four groups fighting against each other, he came up with an idea to easily pass the test. If I get rid of the leaders, then it will be a piece of cake. All groups were given the same formation training, so naturally, they were equal in power. Therefore, Ha Ilming began ambushing the leaders each night. He attacked two of the princes and the princess. After exchanging a few attacks with Chun Wanryu, he thought he could easily injure her. However, there was one thing he didn't know. Chun Wanryu's musical wave energy which could spread through allowed her to hear what was going on. After the first failure, he went after Chun Mukiam. After ambushing with enough preparation, he was able to injure Mukiam. He tried to take him out completely, but an intruder made him fall back. However, he thought injuring Mukiam's leg was enough. He then tried to attack the next leader, but he couldn't as the damage from the previous attack didn't allow him to do it. I thought I got away. He thought he had dodged the attack from the intruder, but he actually didn't wasn't. The attack cracked his ribs so he had to stay on the roof at midnight to heal himself, and it was then that it happened. What bastard did such a thing? He didn't think that someone would attack the entire group at night. He figured it was weird when his entire group wouldn't wake up and he realized that they had all been put to sleep with blood points, which was bone chilling. When he woke up everyone, he then realized half of his group couldn't walk because of their thighs, feet, and muscles. Why the leg? Oh. Ha Ilming then realized that it was payback for what he did. How dare. It was likely that the culprit was in the eighth group. And when he saw Chen Yeowon coming up on stage, he became confused. Him. The rumored seventh prince? It can't be him. 
How could a man with no internal energy just three weeks ago do such a thing? There had to be someone hiding within the eighth group who was more powerful like himself. Ha Ilming's goal was clear. I will find the culprit and destroy his leg. And the result of the lottery was decided. 5th versus 8th. 6th versus 7th. Members of the 7th group sighed in relief. They had to change leaders because of last night's incident and they wanted to avoid the 5th group that had Chun Wanryu as the leader. We're lucky. The 6th group is worse than us. Maybe we will go up. Ha Ilming wanted to fight the 8th group to get his revenge, but this result only made him angrier. Just wait. And for the 8th group, they weren't all that thrilled. They were up against a group that had taken no losses at all. Humph. All that was for nothing then, Chun Yowen thought. This was very unlucky. He decided to never go gambling and looked at Chun Wanryu. Lust clan. Chun Wanryu was the sixth in rank to the throne. Mukiam was in the same group so there was no other way, but Yowen had to defeat her right at the start. Although she was not the strongest of the heirs, the problem was that she was known for her leadership capabilities. It doesn't matter. I have to defeat all of them sooner or later, Yowen assured himself. And with every battle decided, Heming shouted with the beginning of the test. First set of groups, come to the middle of the training ground. Motto. For the first battle, the first and three RP group got onto the training ground and looked at each other. Unlike the third group who was tense, the first group seemed like they were certain of their victory. Chun Nguyen. Yowen knew the name also. He was first in line for the throne, and he was known for being the closest heir. Without considering the fact that he was from the wise clan, or the most powerful clan among the six clans, he was known for his power, wisdom, and character. As both groups got ready, Heming shouted, the group that overpowers other wins. Begin. Motto. And then the test began. Both groups charged toward each other. Huh? It was the first formation battle, but both groups didn't change their formation and charged with their shields up. At this rate, they were just going to clash against each other to push the other out. It was understandable for the third group since their leader had changed, but it was too simple for a man like Chun Nguyen to have come up with such a plan. Whoa! Right before they collided with each other, Chun Nguyen hollered, from the right, third formation. The right flank of the formation sped up and the form changed. Hamming was astonished. Oh? Diagonal strike here? The first group charged diagonally and the third group couldn't even react to them as it was too fast. When they collided, the left side of the third group was pushed back and soon enough, the last row at the far right began falling too. Ugh! Don't push! Wah! Soon, they all got pushed back. Get up! You have to get up! The new third group leader shouted, but they couldn't get up. At that time, first group leader Chun Nguyen thrust his sword into the third group leader's shoulder. Arg! Nguyen spoke to him with a cold voice. You lost. Surrender. NNNGH. It was too late. There was no going back as the entire formation had crumbled. I surrender. And that was it. The understanding and the quick decision by Chun Nguyen had brought victory to the first group. Hamming stood up and shouted, congratulations on the victory. I announced the first group's passing of the second test. Students mumbled and looked at the first group with envy. Yo Won, however, was thinking about something deeply. Soon, the second pair came up. Begin. It was the battle between the second and fourth group. Both groups watched what happened prior, so they didn't charge in recklessly. After a few formation changes, the winner was decided as expected. Congratulations to the fourth group for their victory. The second group did their best even though their leader changed, but they still lost. As expected. They are the same. While everyone was focused on the results, Yoan was glad that he had guessed right. The losers had to leave the training ground with grim faces and the winners shouted with joy. Hamming shouted, next pair, come up. It was the fifth versus eighth. Yoan looked at his anxious group members. They are discouraged. This isn't good. Yoan then took a deep breath and turned to them. Are you afraid? Question mark. Me too. I know all of you are concerned that our leader has changed. But if we don't win here, we will be expelled from the academy. I do not want that. I want to climb higher. Everyone turned to Yoan. Yoan was talking to them with the same perspective of being a student. But I am also angry. I do not want to lose to someone who attacked our leader so that we would fail. Sometimes, anger was the best medicine for nervousness. And at Yoan's words, his group members started becoming angry. If you share my thoughts, we cannot fail here. I won't say anymore. Let's win this. Chun Yowen's choice wasn't wrong. 
At his words, the students began to grow eager for battle. They now had forgotten their fears and concerns. Let's win. The eighth group went up to the stage and Hamming wondered, can he rally the group too? It was unexpected. He didn't think much of Yohan as a replacement and he didn't believe Yohan had what it took to do such a thing. However, it didn't mean that he was going to win either. Let's see if he's a cat or tiger cub. Hamming then gave the start signal. Whoever overpowers other group wins. Begin. Motto. Chapter 28. Eye for an Eye Part 3. The leader of the fifth group, Chun Wonryu, glared at Chun Yowan. Ugh. This wasn't what she wanted. She wanted to defeat the eighth group led by Chun Mukiam and prove that she had the potential to be the next leader, but the current eighth group was led by Chun Yowan who was too weak and had a bad background. It wasn't enough to prove her potential. You do not belong there. She didn't feel that hostile against Yowan like the loyal or poison clans, but she too considered Yowan to be peasant blood. You should blame your mother for putting you in such a spot. She knew the hardships that Yowan had faced while growing up. Your peasant blood doesn't belong in the competition for the throne. I will put an end to it right here. It will be better for your unfortunate life. Chun Wonryu then decided to finish Chun Yowan here and now. When the test began, the fifth group began charging in. Yowan then talked to Nano in his head. Nano, activate augmented reality. Activate the formation tutorial. Yowan then started seeing the lines and writings in his sight. He had already registered the 12 formations into Nano's program. Members of the 8th group became nervous as Yowan did not give them any orders while the 5th group was charging straight at them. Not yet. Yowan shouted to his members. And when the 5th group reached a certain distance, Chun Wanryu shouted, Number 2. The 5th group then began changing their formation. Yowan then thought, Spear formation? Yowan then saw the lines analyzing their movements which turned into writing before they even completed the formation. Opponent is changing into the spear formation. They were forming an arrow with Chun Wanryu at the front. This was effective when the leader had the strength, they could penetrate the enemy's defenses through brute force. It's as expected. The tutorial began to show him how to react to the attack. For the perfect defense, there is the defensive formation. Success rate, 100%. For a counterattack, fishnet formation can be used. Defense success rate, 60%, counterattack success rate, 90%. Augmented reality gave him two choices. The first one was the safer choice, but Yowan took the second one. We will go as planned for the first. Number 6. Wanria raised her eyebrows as she guessed the formation. As she had guessed, the eighth group quickly changed into the fishnet formation. How dare he? Unlike the spear formation which guaranteed penetration, the fishnet formation was an attack formation that was created to defend at the front with support from behind. However, this also required the leader at the forefront to be powerful. Fishnet formation here? Hamming also couldn't understand this. That required the leader to handle the opposing formation's leader. Hamming knew Submang had taught him, but that was too reckless. Maybe I thought too highly of him. He shook his head, and this thought was shared by all the students. Such a foolish choice. Nobody thought Chun Yowan would be able to handle Chun Wanryu. Yet, none of the members of the 8th group thought twice about Yowan's decision. How dare a peasant like you think of fighting me? Chun Wanryu clashed head on against Yowan who wielded internal energy on the shield. People were surprised by what came after. They thought the 8th group led by Yowan would be put down the moment when they clashed, but they were holding off. They blocked them. Everyone was shocked. However, the one who was the most shocked was Chun Wanryo. W what? Her attack was being pushed back. She had over 35 years worth of internal energy. Even if Chun Yowan had acquired that much internal energy from the Black Dragon Ball, it should not have been enough to fend off Wanryu. Phew, it's as expected. Yowan felt sweat rolling down his forehead. Unlike Wanryu's assumption, Yowan actually only had 30 years worth of internal energy. It's stingy. He was a bit weaker in internal energy, but his muscle cells were at Subming's level, and that allowed him to hold his ground. Yowan then took a step forward. His lack of internal energy let the attack wave pass through the shield, but he also had a way to deal with this. Regenerating bodily damage from hostile energy force coming through the shield. Nano moved quickly to heal Yowan. Wanryu was shocked. What has he done? She then realized she had to change the formation or else her group would be destroyed. She shouted, retreat. Number one. Her group then took a few steps back and Wanryu also brought up her shield before hopping back. Number one was the basic formation of two lines. It's our chance. 
Yohan looked around to plan his next move. Opponent has changed formations. Corner them through the sparrow's wing formation and subdue the opponent through the circle formation. Success rate, 90%. With Nano's voice, Yohan shouted at his members. Change. Number 3. They began spreading out. Wanria smiled. She realized Yohan was changing the formation by using the numbers. The third formation was the four-line formation. Fool. You think what the first group used will work against me? She figured she managed to find out what Yohan intended on using, and thus she shouted toward her students. Number 6. Number 6 was the fishnet formation. It would allow her to cut right through the middle of the four-line formation. Her group then began to form a fish. It's over now. She sent the power to her sword. She didn't know what Yohan did, but she didn't think he would have gotten this much stronger so quickly. If I corner him alone, I will kill him. However, her plan didn't work. Soon enough, they couldn't hide their shock. W what? It's not the four-line formation. The eighth group had spread themselves into the sparrow's wing formation to corner them in. They were now being cornered in the semicircle. What? What is going on? Even Wanryu was shocked by the situation. Yohan just shouted number three, but the formation was different. Before she could get back to her senses, Yohan shouted again. Number two. What? Chun Wanryu's pretty face contorted at number two. Number two was the spearhead formation, but it was not a good formation to shift to from the sparrow's wing formation. He's not forming the circle formation? What is, no. Chun Wanryu's eyes almost popped out. Unlike her first thought, the eighth group was changing into another formation that she hadn't guessed. W wait. She then saw Yohan grinning at her with a smirk. Aha! She screamed as her face turned red, realizing the secret behind this. Yohan had given backward numbers to the formation while the other groups kept the same number. He shouted the regular number to fool me. For the first formation, the eighth group used regular numbers. But from the second formation on, they changed the system. The eighth group was now closing in from the circle formation, and the fifth group was cornered. No, how can I? With no way out, there were no way for them to win this either. Yet, Wanryu couldn't accept the result. The students in the fifth group fell into despair. They all began dropping their shields after realizing they had lost. What are you doing? Why are you putting your shields down? Wanryu shouted at her members. She couldn't bear to lose against Yohan whom she thought had no place against her. She had to win against Yohan easily to compete with the others. They will laugh at me. Everyone will laugh at me. She then lost control and charged at Yohan. Die. Wanryu unleashed the Lust Can's unique skill, Sword Energy Wave, trying to kill her target. And what happened next shocked all the students yet again. Chun Yohan threw down his shield and jumped up, unleashing his butterfly blade dance at his enemy.